Jagmeet Singh and his wife are walking over there in Montreal. Uh, he'll be attending Pride Festival. He is about to speak, so uh, the Bloc Quebecois defending their views in Quebec. Here's Jagmeet Singh. Uh, let's listen in here as he's about to give his remarks as the uh, campaign Merci. kicks off. Uh, let's listen in. Bonjour et merci beaucoup. Hello and thank you very much. Je veux commencer I want to start en by recognizing en the Haiti. tragedy in Haiti. I'm so saddened Haiti. by what's happening in Haiti. We must help them. I also want to take a moment to talk about what's going on in Afghanistan. It is very, very troubling what's going on. We're seeing the reality of Kabul falling, and I'm really worried about the women particularly, but the people that served with and helped out Canadian forces. I'm deeply troubled. We need to make sure we are doing everything possible to help out and to evacuate uh, those that are in danger now. In general, it's a, these are hard times. The pandemic has struck hard, and we know that workers faced greatest uh, challenges, and business also, and it was a hard time. And during these hard times, we know that there were other crises as well. The climate crisis, cri climate crisis continues. We know we have wildfires uh, started by the uh, climate crisis that impacts the whole country. We have a housing crisis, where, which was hard before the pandemic, but is worse now. And we also know the reality for the healthcare system uh, that has been for a long time continues. When we think about the climate crisis, Justin Trudeau is the only leader of a G7 nation who has increased emissions over the six years he's been in power. And we know that the climate crisis is so devastating. We are feeling the impacts of it right now with forest fires across Canada, making it hard to breathe, making it hard to see the sky. This is a real challenge that we're up against, and it's only getting worse. We know that the housing crisis was a crisis before the pandemic. It's only gotten worse over these six years. It's becoming more and more unaffordable for people across the country to find a place that's in their budget to rent or to own. And we know that Indigenous people continue to face serious struggles, not having access to clean drinking water, being denied basic human rights. All these things have only gotten worse over the past six years. And despite things getting worse, we see Justin Trudeau right now focused on an election. We are still in a pandemic. We are still worried about this pandemic. And people have referred to the pandemic and said, well, we've all been in the same boat. And I say really clearly, we've not been in the same, we've not, we've not been in the same boat. We've been in the same storm for sure, but some people have ridden out this storm in luxury yachts while others have been in leaky lifeboats. We know that the ultra rich in this pandemic have been given a free ride by liberals and conservatives, so they have increased their wealth. The richest billionaires in Canada have increased their wealth by $75 billion in counting, and Justin Trudeau's allowed that to happen. Companies like Amazon make record profits, but still contribute virtually no taxes in Canada. Instead of, of calling an election, Justin Trudeau should be focused on these crises, on getting people the help they need, on walking the path instead of walking away from these commitments. So many people are wondering why this selfish summer election. Well, it's clear Justin Trudeau wants to grab power, wants a majority. But why does he want a majority? It's certainly not because he wants to help more people or help people more, it's only because he wants to help people less and people end up paying the price. The reality is he is fed up with New Democrats pushing him to deliver more help to more people and he certainly doesn't want to put in place any measures to make the ultra-rich pay their fair share. I believe that better is possible. Si on ose ensemble, je sais qu'on peut investir. See, if we work together, I know we can invest in our future. We can invest to solve the housing crisis. We can invest in health care system. We can react to issues that affect Indigenous communities. We can find justice. If we work together, imagine what we can do together. That's exactly what we'll do. 
on peut investir dans les gens, on peut Let's work together. We can invest in people and make sure the ultra rich pay their fair share and build a better society together. Thank you. Really honored to be here with you today, and I'm ready for any questions you might have. Encore un grand merci à toute mon équipe qui sont ici. Thanks again to my whole team that's here, and I'm ready for your questions.